General Pipe Cleaner's Kinetic Water Brain, the right tool for clearing clogged sinks, toilets, and other small drains. The water ram is particularly useful for slow draining tubs and showers. This video gives you a general overview of the operating instructions and safety procedures for using the Kinetic Water Ram. It is not a complete list of all the recommended safety procedures and will not provide specific instructions for every application. Ask your dealer for a complete list of safety procedures. He can also give you more specific instructions to solve your particular clog drain problem. Disregarding any of the safety procedures while using the Kinetic Water Ram can result in serious personal injury or damage to the equipment. To determine whether you are using the proper drain cleaning tool, you must first locate the source of the problem. If the clog is in a small drain line, like a sink drain, tub, or shower, the water ram is the appropriate tool to use. If several drains are affected, the blockage is probably in a larger line common to those drains. If this is the case, the water ram is not the right tool for the job. Consult your dealer for a model designed to clear larger drain lines. The Kinetic Water Ram provides a safe, clean way to clear smaller pipes and drains. However, as with any tool, certain safety precautions are necessary. Remember these safety rules as you use the Water Ram. Wear safety glasses or goggles to protect your eyes from any debris thrown from the drain. Never use the tool in a drain that has a chemical drain cleaner in it. The kinetic water ram works by releasing a charge of compressed air against a column of water, sending a shock wave through the water and down the line to break up a clog. The shock wave can bypass vents and travel around difficult bends in the drain line. 98% of the shock wave hits the clog, not the pipe walls, so it won't damage or weaken your pipes. Before you start, make sure there's water up to the top of the drain opening. The shock wave produced by the water ram travels only through water, not air. Next, use rags to seal any overflow drains or other openings, such as back-to-back -back sinks, to make sure that water or debris from the drain doesn't splash back when you use the water ram. If a second sink or drain opening is connected to the same drain line, it must also be covered before you use the water ram. Use the built-in pump to build up air pressure in the water ram's air cylinder. The pressure gauge indicates the amount of air pressure built up. It's best to begin with low pressure, about 10 pounds, to make sure everything is covered properly. Once the water ram is pumped up, wedge the tip of the rubber cone into the drain opening. You may have to remove the strainer to allow the cone to get properly seated into the drain opening. Press down on the water ram firmly to create a good seal and prevent water from splashing back. Then snap the trigger, releasing the full impact of the stored air pressure at once. If the drain is still clogged, you'll need to apply more pressure. Pump up the pressure to 15 pounds and try again. If the drain still isn't clear, try again, increasing the air pressure by 5 pound increments each time. You can easily pump the water ram up to about 60 pounds by hand, but you probably won't need that much pressure. Most drains can be cleared with 20 to 40 pounds of pressure. After the drain is cleared, run water into the drain to wash away any debris. Use the toilet attachment when unclogging toilets. Simply remove the rubber cone and thread on the attachment. Then follow the same procedure as before. Pump up the ram, insert into opening, press down firmly, and snap the trigger. If you have any difficulty, call your dealer. He'll be able to give you further instructions. General Pipe Cleaners, the toughest tools down the line.